remarkable woman finalist has some pretty big shoes to fill in Illinois. She's serving as the acting warden of the Lawrence Correctional Center just west of Subner, a role she's been at for over a year. She's got a long history in the criminal justice field, but what makes her approach to rehabilitation a little more unique is her background in psychology. Dr. Dee Dee Brookhart was nominated by her husband for Next Star's Remarkable Woman competition. He witnessed her balance her day-to-day -day job of rehabilitating offenders with the home life demands of her caring for her aging mother. It gave him a perspective on her accomplishments. Sadie All introduces us to this remarkable woman. It's not always the brightest of days at the Lawrence Correctional Facility in Illinois. However, inside Acting Warden Dr. Dee Dee Brokhart's office, you can quickly see where her sanctuary lies. Home is where I go to refuel and unwind. It's where she gains her momentum for a pretty important role. We do this because of personal satisfaction or this is what we wanted to do when we grew up. Um, but, but what really matters is what you have at home and the value that you place there. Dee Dee says she's in the business of working with people, so home life gives her a break every now and then. Is that you or is that me? That's me. That's you. That doesn't mean she's not passionate about rehabilitating offenders. You know, a lot of people don't understand that, that some of the guys in here, they don't know any better because they haven't been taught. So we try to give them those skills. With a doctorate degree in psychology from Southwest University in Louisiana, it's no surprise Dee Dee places an emphasis on mental health behind bars. She says oftentimes prison is one of few options to receive help. We've implemented reentry programming where they do cognitive behavioral uh, educational treatment so that they can get rid of criminal and addictive thinking patterns and start thinking about things in a different way. The reward is seeing inmates return to their families and contribute to society. I think that her strength lies on the fact that she came up through the clinical side. That's her main point of focus, and I respect that. Dee Dee's husband, Jake, nominated her for Next Star's Remarkable Woman of the Year. He, too, works in the correctional field as the assistant warden of operations at Robinson Correctional Center. He's been in the field since 1990 and has several more years on his wife's 23 years in the business. Still, he says she's the one who taught him so much. I've watched her uh, grow in her position. I've watched her move through the different positions that she's held. And um, <clears throat> she's amazing. She's an amazing manager. Um, she actually cares about the people. The Burkharts moved Dee Dee's mother, Doris, into their home for hospice care a couple of years ago. This past winter, her health really declined. It was rough watching um, watching my wife struggle with it. Still, Dee Dee was able to juggle her responsibilities. It was then that Jake saw an ad for Next Star's Remarkable Women nomination. At first, I just you know, clicked past it, and then I caught myself and I thought, you know what, I know a remarkable woman, and I know who I'm gonna nominate. Even after the recent loss of Dee Dee's mother, she kept a positive perspective. I can honestly say that it was um, really quite a, a peaceful and beautiful thing to go through. She says it was an honor to give back to her mother in her final days. That's after her mother gave her a lifetime of support. So having a mom like her who was very strong, um, having a wonderful supportive husband and family and some really great friends makes doing difficult work very easy. Going on 18 years of marriage, it wasn't easy for Jake to keep his nomination a secret. So when Dee Dee got the voicemail from our station... And I almost deleted it because I thought it was a spam call. Then I texted my husband and said, what on earth did you do? <laughs> but she appreciates the nod from her husband, who calls her his hero. I work off of her strengths and she works off mine and we bounce ideas off of each other whenever we're, you know, going through situations um, and it works out. You know, Dee Dee says what she wants for her three children, just to be happy. Oh, 